I think I was 19 or 20 and Pac was 19. And we was at the liquor store trying to get somebody to buy some alcohol. And we wasn't even old enough to buy alcohol yet. So people walking past the store and they like, you know, I'm like, hey, man, could y'all get us something to drink? And dude was like, you know, ain't you Tupac and ain't you Spice One? He's like, don't you got a song about alcohol? So anyway, they went and got us some drink anyway. And so me and Pac start walking down the street, drinking Hennessy and, and 40 ounce and shit. And the police roll up on us. I threw the 40 ounce in the bushes and Pac threw the, the Hennessy in the bushes and the police told us, uh, he pull up and he said, man, go, go, get that, go get that Hennessy and that 40 ounce out of the bushes and both of y'all drink all of that shit right now. So he made me and Tupac drink all of that shit. <laughs> you know, we was wandering around the streets of Oakland, nigga. <laughs> Drunk, we was... I'm I'm, 19, I'm I'm 20, he 19, dude. We drunk a whole fifth and a, and a, and a whole 40 ounce nigga and, was, and, was, and, and then they let us in the club. I get in the club, go to the bar, and out the corner of my eye, I seen a chair fly across the room. <laughs> Guess who that is and shit. <laughs> that was Pop. Throwing some, he threw a chair at some nigga from across the room. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> so I mean, you know, just that's just that was like a regular night out, me and me and my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So just 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 to let y'all know, man, Pac was a regular dude. You know, we, we used to be out there kicking on some regular shit. Yeah, that's crazy, man. So that was just normal then. Tupac getting into an incident. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the, the time in the in Milwaukee when he when he ran past me and, and wanted to go fight some, some GDs and shit, like, that nigga was crazy, but, you know, Bushwick was, Bushwick was crazy, too. Bushwick was crazy. I think both of them was Geminis, <laughs> if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, but Bushwick was crazy, too. Crazy, man. Pac, he was a wild dude, man, but how you feel about the people, right, that say Tupac, he had a death wish because of all the incidents he would get into? Um... I think, you know, Pac was, was uh, going through a, a point and period in his life where um, he wasn't scared to die. He would rather prove his point. He, he, he rather uh, prove his point than, um, than keep his mouth shut or not, you know. He wasn't going to close his mouth for nobody. If he seen something and it wasn't right, uh, he was always the one to say something like he wouldn't just hold his tongue and not say shit if he seen some foul shit going on he would speak on it um and he didn't he didn't give a shit if 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 they call that a death wish then 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 that's what it is you know he was just the type of person who wouldn't who wouldn't go for the bullshit who wouldn't take the take the shit like when he tripped out in Milwaukee like that I thought he was tripping at first until I figured out what he was mad at, you know, and then I was kind of like, you know, okay, well, yeah, that was fucked up, you know what I'm saying? He just, he wasn't ever the type of person to hold his tongue. So, if, you know, of course they're going to say he got a death wish. He, he used to always say, you know, he'll say some shit like, you know, um, um, I'm gonna show these motherfuckers about a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? What a, what a, what a real what 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 happens to a real nigga? You know, when you, when you out here in these streets and, and they say it's a such thing as keeping it too real. Yeah, he was keeping it too real, real as hell, and um, and he got killed in the process. You know, um. Sometimes a nigga will hold their tongue. Sometimes a nigga will hold their punches. He wasn't that nigga. He wasn't going to hold his punches, and he wasn't finna hold his tongue. If he seen some foul shit going on, he was going to check that shit right there and then. That's what type of nigga that was. He wasn't no, oh, you know, I, don't, I ain't tripping on them niggas, man. He, no, it wasn't the, he was tripping on them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, you know, if, they, if you want to call it a death wish, then yeah, <laughs> shit. Hell yeah.